Hi guys, I'm Madeline. I saw uh, Sarah doing this video regarding about what she knows school bag and I thought that it would be fun if I do it as well. So, um, I'll show you what's in my bag. Um, so, if you're interested, just keep on watching. Okay, um, this is my school bag for today and um, this is my school bag for today because like uh, as when I mean today it means that I carry this day because I have a lot of bags and I carry them according to like wherever I wear depends on my mood and everything so yeah I chose this bag today because it was lying around and I was too stressed and depressed to actually thought of like what bag I want to wear today because it's um examination day so yeah I'll show you what's inside my bag that I brought to school today okay um this should be hard sorry uh, okay my wallet the pink one and inside it's a typical wallet that's my student card. No, my Ezlink card. This is my student card. Sorry. It's my student card. As you can see, I'm an NTU student. Studying in an NTU. I'm in my second year and I'm a bioscience student. So that means I'm going to be some kind of math scientist one day. Next one. Um, I think everybody has it. It's this. USB buying card. I'm still the grey one. So old fashioned. I'm going to change to the blue one soon. So, trash this. And this one is the card. The repair card for the PSP, which I also own. And here are my other cards. Body shop card. Body shop scans. Cash card. Very good. Especially if you're studying uni, when you need to print notes, you need to use the cash card. And, oh, my student, my knee, I'm student card. Sorry. I, I used to be from Neon before I went to NTU. I'm a Neon Poly student. So, yeah, I keep it as a memory. Serve as something that I keep. Because I, I really enjoy myself when I was in Polytechnic. So, yeah, I really like Neon Poly. And uh, my next one is my doctor's clinic meme card. I mean, like, in case I get sick and everything. I mean, everybody gets sick, right? And these are the compartments. This is cash. I'm kind of broke at the moment, so you can see. And the next one I'm going to pull out is my jacket. Ah, sorry. My jacket. Sorry, so windbreaker or whatever you call it, jacket. Because the exam, as I said earlier, that I have exam today, and the examination hall is so cold that I can like I was like last time I forgot to bring the jacket. I was like literally trembling, you know. When I mean trembling, as I I was like I was fighting and trembling at the same time. So if you have like if your examination. Oh, it's cold, it's better to bring a jacket. Especially in NTU where all the examination halls are like so super duper cold. So yeah, this jacket is <laughs> too big for me. I mean, because I'm very, I'm pretty small size, but it's a free gift. It's a free freshman gift from NTU when I entered the uni. So yeah, this one. Umbrella. Okay, it rains. And, uh, oh yeah, oh, uh, this is my, uh, lecture notes for my exam today, and you can see it's called BS204, which stands for Experimental and Molecular by Cell Bio. Oh my god. It says your label traces, but actually it's just the, the name of the lecture. Oh my god. I really, really hate this module. It's like I have to say, it's like applications. It's like it's not 
just your normal no facts details you have to get into the logic and the principle of those tests like why you need to do this and why you need to do that the exam questions were like oh design an experiment design a primer for to clone a DNA segment I'm like oh my god how is anybody like ever going to do that Obviously, I'm not the only one who's complaining. My friends also complain and say that this module sucks. Well, it sucks, really. I mean, it's not as if it's like... It's not as if the lecturers are bad. It's just that this module is like just difficult. So, for those who are in NTU, studying bioscience, or who are going to their second year, or who are thinking of entering NTU soon for bioscience, well, good luck. This module is terrible. <laughs> okay, the next one that I'm going to say is my pencil box. Well, typical pencil box is small. It has everything that it needs, that I need. Pencils, pen, eraser, stapler, whatnot. It's small because I lost mine a long time ago. And I replaced it with this. So, I replaced it with a small one because I'm afraid I'll lose it again and I'll be heartbroken. Because the previous pencil box I lost, it has a lot of nice pens inside. Some of them are like, how do you say, expensive pens. And I was really upset when I lost it. So, I just keep it at, like that. Okay, next one, I'm going to say, oh yeah, the last one, my makeup kit. Well, saving the best for the last. Yes. You can see what I can just for touch up on the go. You can tell not much. Okay, the first item is um oh the Mac blot powder. Oh my god, I am so in love with this powder because I am really oily skin. When I mean oily, I mean really really oily. I will be like. I can wash my face for like one hour. I can wash my face and one hour later it will be just like an oil stick. It's terrible and nothing stays on as you know, nothing stays on oil skin, it will just fly off. This powder, oh, uh, it just, it keeps my face matte for like six hours. That means my makeup can stay intact for at least six hours. Depending on the weather, if it's a cool day, less humid, probably eight to nine hours. This this powder is like amazing, and I just, I I could just like ramble on how much I love this powder. So just get if you have oily skin, just get this powder. It's it's really really good for people who suffer from terrible oily skin. It'll keep your makeup in place and it keeps you matte looking. So you probably need to touch it like once a day, only. Good enough. The next thing is my bronzer. It's another one from MAC. As you can tell that I love MAC. <laughs> yes, I am a MAC girl. I love MAC. So this bronzer is my favorite. It's in golden. I'm not sure whether you can see it. But I really like this bronzer. I mean, I prefer bronzers to brushes because I find it more natural than blushes. It's not as blushes are not natural but I just prefer the brown look. So this is my favourite bronzer and it's very sheer. It's a bit shimmery. And it you wouldn't how would I say you would never like um put on too much. I mean no matter how much you put right it'll be still it won't be too dark. It'll be nice. So yeah, I like this bronzer. You can never go wrong with this bronzer. I mean, it suits everybody. It suits all kinds of skin tones. So I recommend, I do recommend this if you want to get a bronzer. Um, the next one, oh, cleaner and clear oil blotters. Definitely a must for people who've oily skin like me, who like, who before um, touch up, adding, applying my block powder, I normally block my face with this. Cleaner and clear oil blotters are the best. Of all, uh, a comb. I don't know why I brought a comb when I comb my hair. So as you, as you, as you've seen earlier. And then, uh, ah, 
powder. 